Hey there and welcome. In today's quick video, let's talk about the adaptogen GoToCola. GoToCola is a member of the parsley family and has been used in traditional Chinese medicine as well as Ayurvedic medicine for many, many years. It is generally well tolerated and used in dosages of 180 milligrams up to 1000 milligrams daily for periods of up to a year. Now with this one, you wanna make sure that you are using the above ground constituents or the aerial parts of the plant. So make sure your formula is using the right part of the plant. It can be used both topically and orally. Topically, it's really great for skin conditions such as eczema, minor wounds and scrapes and burns, as well as other rashes and itchy type skin conditions. As an adaptogen, it's really known for its neurological or central nervous system type effects. It is especially helpful in things like memory, focus, concentration. And we're seeing more and more research about it being used in neurodegenerative diseases such as Alzheimer's. We're even seeing it in stroke and epilepsy as well. Now we think that it is helping in this aspect because it is very anti-inflammatory as well as a powerful antioxidant. Now in that antioxidant role, it's really helping to reduce the damage from oxidative stress or prevent oxidative stress as well as prevent damage from free radicals. Gotu Cola is also often used for anxiety and helping to reduce the symptoms of anxiety. And we think that this is working because it's actually working on GABA receptors. So it's actually helping to induce that feeling of sedation or a feeling of calm. And because it is also anti-inflammatory and does such a great job at pushing those anti-inflammatory pathways, we are now often seeing more research in it being used for other pro-inflammatory endocrine diseases such as diabetes type 2. And we think that it's helping with things like diabetes because it is anti-inflammatory. Now, how do I use this herb in with clients? So I tend to use this one with clients who are really having trouble with memory, who can't focus, can't concentrate, can't seem to find the right word sometimes. But in addition to that, it's usually because I've also done some testing to see that they are really inflamed. So their functional medicine tests come back as showing a lot of inflammation and usually a lot of oxidative stress. If you wanna learn more about some of the labs I use, you can click on this video up here. I hope that this video was helpful. Give it a thumbs up if you learned something. It really does help other people find this information. If you have experience with GoToCola, go ahead and let me know how you use it and how you came to find it in the comments below. And be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell so that you know when I post a new video next week. All right, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.